Peach Springs Clinic. If a member of your family has high blood pressure, you're at greater risk of getting it too. And if you do not have high blood pressure now because a family member has it, you are still at greater risk. The good news is that you can take steps to lower your blood pressure and keep it from rising. Let's find out how. These are tips for taking medicine for high blood pressure. Make sure you take your medicine every day, not only on the days when you do not feel well. Tell the doctor the names of all other medicines, herbs, or supplements you take. Bring everything with you when you have a doctor's appointment. Tell the doctor or health aide right away if the medicines make you feel sick or strange. Ask the doctor about changing the doses or switching to another type of medicine, if that's the case. Refill your medicine before you run out. Have your blood pressure checked often to see if the medicine is working for you. And don't stop taking your medicine if your blood pressure is okay. This means the medicine is working. Let's take a look at some things that you can do to help prevent high blood pressure. Things that you can do for yourself. Not taking medicines, not having to follow drug regimens. The first thing that you might think about is checking your weight. Aim for a healthy weight. Try not to gain extra weight. Lose weight if you are overweight. Try losing weight slowly. About a half a pound a week will be a good gauge to reaching a healthy weight. Number two, be active every day. You can walk. You can dance. Use the stairs. Play sports. Do any activity you enjoy. Say to yourself, there are ways I can move about more than I do now. Number three, Use less salt and sodium in cooking. Buy foods marked sodium-free, low sodium, or reduced sodium. That's all about the salt shaker. Take the salt shaker off the table. In preparing your meals, try avoiding adding salt to the cooking water of your pots of water. Number four, eat more fruits and vegetables, whole grain breads and cereals, and low-fat dairy products. Number five, cut back on alcohol. Men who drink should have no more than one or two drinks a day. Women who drink should have no more than one drink a day. And, as we all know, pregnant women should not drink any alcohol. What are some things you can do to help lower your high blood pressure? Number one, practice these steps. Again, maintain a healthy weight. Work to get to the best weight possible. And you can always learn what the best weight for you is by reviewing the graphs and charts that we have in the clinic. Be active every day. Again, keep yourself moving. Eat fewer foods high in salt and sodium. Eat more fruits and vegetables, whole grain breads and cereals, and low-fat dairy products. If you drink alcoholic beverages, do so in moderation. Number two, take your medicine, just as the doctor prescribes it for you. If you find that's not working, if you find you're not comfortable with that, talk to the doctor about it. And don't run out of your medicine. Monitor your bottle. Watch your bottle. When you see the medicine getting low, definitely check into the pharmacy for refills. Many times we are checking blood pressures after people have run out of their medicines and we don't know how good your blood pressure is when you're taking the medicine. Be sure to have your medicine on hand. We can prescribe three months of medicine at the clinic, and then the pharmacist will probably be asking you to have your blood pressure checked or see the doctor or see the nurse for another blood pressure check to be sure that your blood pressure is in control. Definitely check your bottles and return for refills before your bottles are empty. Number three, check your blood pressure often. The easiest way to monitor your blood pressure is to do it yourself, but you can always stop in the clinic and ask a nurse to check your blood pressure and be assured that on almost every visit that you have at the clinic, we will be checking your blood pressure for you. Lastly, it is known that stress can increase blood pressure. Often we allow modern life to get to us and cause us additional stress. If things are causing us to feel stress, 
let's find a way to make changes and reduce that stress. Perhaps drinking less caffeine that we find in coffee or pop. Finding quiet time daily where you can let your mind and body relax. Perhaps add some gentle music. Try stretching or doing yoga. A hot bath or a massage. Or you may find simply sitting quietly and enjoying the moment. Breathing in and out deeply and slowly will help you find that quiet peace within yourself that will reduce stress. Hi, I'm Rosemary Sullivan, the director for the Peach Springs Indian Health Center. I hope you have found the information on blood pressure helpful in your journey to improve your health. Remember, we are here to help you with your decision to control your high blood pressure. So let's make the choice to live a healthy and happy life and be in control. This is Dr. David Revek at the Peach Breed. <laughs> Hi, this is Dr. David Revek at Pete's. <laughs> Stop that! <laughs>